and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some gruel mid range that we are going to go ahead and tank take to ranked, uh, not tank, uh, but we're going to go ahead and take to ranked. Um, as you can see here, that's what the R's stand for. We haven't really been playing much ranked, uh, really any ranked at all since uh, M20 came out. We've been just playing so many different decks where we're trying so many things. Uh, we've been just heading, we're just been in the traditional constructed queues. So yeah, we're going to go over to ranked. You know, we've had some, you know, people want to see some ranked matches because there it is a little bit better competition in ranked than in the tra traditional constructed queues. Um, so that's what we're going to do with these next two decks. We're going to be playing the Grixis Control uh, up after this one. But first, we're going to have Gruul that I think is a, a strong deck. Even though I haven't really played this yet, um, I, I'm very confident that this is going to be a good deck. I really, really like Vivian Arcbow Ranger. I think this card is very strong and uh, wanting to play it here. Our mana is a little difficult with the Arcbow Ranger with having all of these mountains, of course. Uh we do have our Land of War Elf, Paradise Druid, Domri that all add green mana to help cast it. But our mana is a little tough for it, but still wanting to play it here. Um, so we had a question here, Growth Chamber versus Thorn Lieutenant. I want Growth Chambers in here because our deck, I'm not playing like much card advantage. Growth Chamber is something that could be card advantage. But we have some good 1-1 counter synergies. You know, Vivian putting counters on the Growth Chamber Guardians go and gets you more Growth Chamber Guardians. We have the Domri's Ambush puts a counter on it, gets you another Growth Chamber Guardian. Domri's Ambush uh, is a card that uh, I I haven't played hardly at all uh, since war. You know, it came out with War of the Spark. So since it's been in Standard, I've frequently played like Thrash Threat over this card. And maybe maybe I'm underrating it. I've I've wanted the versatility of Thrash Threat before, but I'm. I know a lot of people play it, and playing against it, it's looked pretty good playing against it quite a bit. And so I'm going to be trying this instead of a card like Thrash Threat. Um, so I, I'm trying it out, you know, there. Um, all right, Storm, have a good night. Uh, let's see. We have the, you know, we have some Awakened Infernos that we're going to be trying here in this deck also. Uh I wanted to try Awaken Inferno with the ability to get it out earlier. So with our 11 things that can add mana, we can get out the Awaken Inferno earlier. Of course, the minus three deals damage to the non-elemental creature, so it doesn't deal damage to the Nissa lands. So that's pretty nice for us. Um, so yeah, there's our deck. Our sideboard, uh, all of our things are kind of doing something spe specific in our sideboard. I got Veil of Summers in here, mostly for mass manipulation. Got to stop mass manipulation. So that's that's what our Veil of Summers are doing. Um, of course, it can do some other things as well, but that's the main reason here. Gravestone for Command the Dreadhorde. You know, like manipulation, and Command the Dreadhorde. Those are two just so such powerful cards that I I want cards to that, to help stop them. Um, we have. Direfully Daredevil is basically against all the Thought Erasure decks. That's where it's coming in against for the most part. Uh, can also play it against like red decks with red removal, even though it's not very good against Chain Whirler. Um, and then we have Lava Coil for all the aggro matchups. Um, and, uh, you know, Wild Growth Walker matchups, all that kind of stuff. Cinder Vines mostly against Nexus. I'm not sure if I want Cinder Vines against Mono Red or Mono White. To destroy Frenzy slash... No, I don't want it against Mono Red for Frenzy. But Mono White with all their enchantment removal, History Banalia, Conclave Tribunals, all that kind of stuff. Probably not. But possibility. But, you know, mostly for Nexus there. And then Carnage Tyrants for control. That's what we got here. All right, let's give it a try. Let's head on over to... To Ranked. Um, so I'm not Mythic, of course, because I haven't really been playing. I've played a couple of ranked matches off stream, but I'm still just like the end of Platinum, how it gets reset. So we'll, we'll have to work our way back up to Mythic here. All right, a couple of questions. Yeah, Elio, so deck techs are where we just spend five to ten minutes. Uh, if you donate for a deck tech, we, we'll spend five to ten minutes. And I do that between, between leagues, so it's not part of the YouTube videos. Um... 
where we put your deck up on stream and we talk about it and, and kind of go through it and talk like I'll talk about cards I like or don't like and so on and you know if you have like questions of like I would you know I'm struggling with these matchups how can I help them and, and so on stuff like that so that that's what we do with the deck techs uh, you know spend five ten minutes talking about the decks and that's that's ten dollars for the deck tech uh, and it's twenty dollars for the donation decks to have have your deck played through the league um do you think totem is better than gravestone since gravestone can be destroyed and totem can just exile right away um I, don't know, I, I like gravestone i don't know i yeah i like gravestone more i don't know exactly why uh my sh thoughts on shifting ceratops is that it's not a very good card i'm i i don't like uh shifting ceratops I think the protection from blue is the the absolute worst color to have protection from. And uh, it's kind of expensive and I don't know. Not a big fan of it. So what do they have in hand that they didn't play anything here? Do they just have just lands and maybe Champion of Dusk? Or Dawn or whatever the champion is? I'll play this. I could double spell, you know, with the Domri and then one of the, the two mana things. I don't really want to have play Domri, then Growth Chamber Guardian, and have the Growth Chamber Guardian die. I kind of want to be able to put the counter on it right away. It's Dusk. Yeah, that's what they had. Okay. I was not planning on ambushing that champion of Dusk. At least not yet. Alright. Coils in. Ambush was definitely good there. Ambush does work very well with, with the Paradise Druid with the Hexproof. Or the Spellbreaker with the Hexproof on my turn kind of thing. Yeah, the amb ambush was definitely good. So, all right, so if we're bringing in the coils, what am I cutting? I kind of want to cut... kind of want to cut Nissa's, which is weird. I'm definitely getting rid of, getting rid of one Nissa. Maybe a Domri also. Even though the Domri fight with like some of these bigger things. I don't know, that's pretty good too. I could probably trim a Paradise Druid. Mm, we got Vivian fight also. I'm going to get rid of two Nissas and one Domri. I do that. Triple green. And if only Vivian was double green, I'd see even more play. Hellkite, you know, kind of be like my late game thing of, you know, 
Hellkite seems like a, a hard card for them to kill. I guess they're probably playing a bunch of Disparks. Which could make Rekindling Phoenix worse. Hey, Timidou. Ah, Triple Green's easy. Easy, I tell you. We got our green mountains here. Also. Let's get our green kitty. There we go. This is the deck you've been waiting for. It's feeling good so far. We won our first game that we played, and we have a good curve here for game two. Extreme Russo. No, we're going to be playing Grixis Control up next. We switched Gruul and Grixis because after playing... Well, we did a poll. That was the main reason more people vote for Gruul, but um, I did the poll because we just played the Mardu Control, some really long control games, and instead of playing another control deck back to back. Jax. We just uh, switched on over here. So am I killing Legion's Lieutenant or making a 6-6 Spellbreaker? Let me just play Phoenix. Thanks, Salad. Okay, they did have to spark. I'm planning on blocking the Vanguard with the Paradise Druid here. Well done. Yeah, I guess that was the thing. And they broke out all the lieutenants for this war. Or this battle. Must have been an important battle. It's like, do they have a one mana instant? Close your God's eyes. willing? Breathe. And listen to the sounds of the wild. We're going to tear Chomp. you apart. The land fights for us. Ah, uh, they have the Adanto ability. Right, 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 right.
I could tap the forest, the land werewolf, and the mountain and play the other ranger and eat something else, but then I have my one blocker. Lose four cards. I lose four life. Fit enough to survive. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. You picked the wrong fight. I don't know if I'm like supposed to offer that trade with my five five. I don't know, they have like any removal for it. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't with me like being able to maybe ultimate Nissa the next turn. Well it would have been Actually, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have maybe it would have been in a better spot. If I don't attack, they cast down the 5-5, five, five, attack with everything. Alright, we'll be on the play here for game three. That was close. It was, a, it was a good close game. I'll try playing a Domri over a Paradise Druid here. I'm not. I'm not sure if that's really the the best play though. No, I definitely want Phoenixes. You know, like if our if our opponent does doesn't have the Dispark for the Phoenix, like the Phoenix is going to do some really good stuff for us. Like, sure, it, it gets exiled by Dispark, but I don't think that's a reason to take it out of the deck. Beasts will bring your comeuppance. That's just a lot of damage. Ugh. Depart Innistrad immediately. 
Oh, you will take the blood that calls to your soul. We still, I didn't mind trading the land we're off because we still, because of the mana we get there, we still get to play Nissa this next turn. Together, we will prevail. I'm an itch on your ear, Hawkeye. We're in the driver's seat here. In the driver's seat. What was our first deck we played? Elemental Aggro. All right, one to know. Good old gruel stuff. All right. All right, sorry, working, working on the thumbnail for the elemental aggro deck. Taros, thank you so much for that sub there. Hope y'all are getting the hype in the chat. Thank you very much. Elemental aggro. All right, I'm back to the chat. Sorry, I was waiting for a little bit there. Man, Land of Warwolf is awesome. Can we keep ha having these hands with Land of Warwolves, please? Oh, we don't really need to draw more of them. I wasn't saying that. Yeah, I like the four mana Domri. You want to be playing a lot of creatures with four mana Domri. You know, you want... Not only do you want the haste to be important, but you want that minus ability to, to grab you creatures most of the time. So yes, I could play the other land or elf, but I think I want to defend. I don't know. Defending is probably not the right thing to be doing. They didn't have the land. Nay, defending was the right thing to be doing. You must be mad to tussle with me. We are the many. Man, getting rid of both of those Knight of the Ebon Legions, pretty big. All right, Dahmer's ambush has been strong quite strong. No, no, put me back in. I don't really want to use the ambush on the one one. Um, so it's whether I go guardian plus elf or phoenix. Let's just go phoenix. So is everybody just playing vampires in in ranked these days? Yeah, I don't I don't play any more Phoenix and and honestly not really. I haven't really missed rank or sorry, missed paper too much to be honest. Um So last time I took out two Nissas, but the Nissas were like really good for us all the time. Maybe I should take out a Chandra. Even though I feel like that minus three ability could be awesome for us. But maybe we don't need two. Let me just play the one. Keep this other Nissa in here. Ah, uh, Huey got to number one with vampires. Huey's awesome.
Yeah, we talked about Growth Chamber Guardian versus Thorn Lieutenant earlier. It, I think, I like Growth Chamber Guardian here because of the other, because of the one one, the one one counter synergy that we got going on. Um, without that, I'd probably rather play Thorn Lieutenant. I don't know. It's they're close. They're really close. But I like. I think I'm liking the Growth Chamber Guardian because of like Vivian Arcbow Ranger and stuff, and Domri's ambush and everything. Man, bummer. We don't have Landward off this hand. Green Kitty. Green Hawkeye. I drink only the finest. Now Smart Eye have sired many warriors. I could you know, I could have the the ambush kill the Soren, I could have just done that last turn is just ambush kill Soren, but that's not really doing a whole lot for us. Go with the Phoenix instead. My bloodline flows through you. Now we get to do that, but the lieutenant's pretty good. What did they add that made vampires that good? This this card right here, Soren. Soren Imperious Bloodlord. That's the card. Just don't really want to take the five. It's not like that great of a trade for me. Should have taken the five. <laughs> All right, Vona, huh? I mean, I could play Veil of Summer to counter to Spark. Nah. Oh yeah, and then Knight of the Ebon Legion is also incredible. So yeah, they got they got a, an incredibly good one drop and an incredibly good three mana Planeswalker. So that's what made it playable. Project Snipe, did you see the artifact deck that I that I made that I played yesterday? That was basically all colorless that deck's really fun it's it struggles against like creature decks curving out but you know it's like a colorless artifact deck there's not really colorless cards that stop creature decks too well yeah veil would basically be for dispark and for cast down No, I actually didn't get the top thousand last month. I ended up outside of it, but you only need the the only thing the top thousand gets you is the entry to the next MCQ, and I already I'm already entered to that because I was top thousand the previous month. We have our absolute best turn one and turn two. But we have we have nothing besides that. That was a tough hand to mulligan.
Ugh. Wish I would have kept Spellbreaker now. All right, well, Nissa, can you beat a vampire deck on your own? Because that's that's all we got after this multiply. They did go shock shock, which helps us out down to thirteen already. <laughs> yep, Vampire Travel. Good deck. The land will not forsake you. Well, that's unfortunate for me. This is not getting less unfortunate for me. Ugh, we had one card after a mold of five. One card. Our opponent killed it. And now we did. Ugh, looks like we're one and one now. Which is unfortunate. I feel like... I feel like this matchup isn't so bad for us. Yeah, that is true. Drawing a Chandra would be pretty good. I mean, it would just wipe the wipe the board unless, you know, depending on what they do with this Knight of the Ebon Legion. Don't really know why our opponent was not attacking with the the Knight of the Ebon Legion. So they were thinking that we were going to outrace them or something. Good card. Two two draws a card. It's a good one.
I would understand not attacking here. I think last turn was a good attack, but I'm, I understand them not wanting to attack here. All right, going for it. You got me. Please don't have another to spark. Please don't have another to spark. That's good news. No to spark. Also good news. Those are definitely a risky take for them, especially not having to spark. They could have cast down. They could cast down like on my turn. Cast down the Phoenix there. Really? Did they have to spark? Boo. So if I don't block Knight, I'm taking lethal, so I gotta block Knight. Hey, weighty kicks. Weighty cakes. Thanks for the sub there. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Go to four. I guess it's not. I guess my out is Hellkite. I have one out. The Hellkite. If they draw land here. I have, I have exactly one out in my deck. Yeah, that was a slow roll there. Oh, you're welcome, Ray Day. Thanks for the Thanks for the donation. Oh no, I don't have an out. Oh, I was taking two more than I was thinking than I counted. Yeah, never mind, I'm dead. I don't have an out. <laughs> I was I don't know, I just saw four immediately, not six. We made a close game of it there, you know, even with our Moldify and not having very much, we made a really close game of it. See how good that one drop is, it's incredible. This is where I really don't like Domri's Ambush. Where if like my opponent's playing an aggressive deck, I don't get to use a removal spell on turn two. You know, I have to like wait till afterwards when I want to be playing it on turn two. Yeah, I would, would love to be able to use the removal spell here.
It's like I should have mulliganed. Certainly was, you know, considering mulliganing, you know, not doing anything till turn three on the draw, being pretty slow. You know, sometimes you wish you could see the top cards of your deck. You know, if I, if, if I knew my top three cards were land, 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 I would would have shipped that very fast. But obviously, there's not really any way to know that. Get out of here. Well, that turn went really well for us. It better not have Melody. Better not have Entrancing Melody. Okay. So that thing's a 6-7. Pretty big. Does it have Trample? Yeah, it does. It's a good card. Oh yeah, yeah. We could definitely get mass manipulation. Uh, we're we're you know hoping not. We're just hope they don't have manipulation. Like, I'll have sideboard autumn veils, but nothing I can really do here. Game one, if they if they find the manipulation. All right, druid is a f a three five, so I don't think it makes a lot of sense to do haste and then attack with everything, right? Because like, so spellbreaker gets eaten. The two spellbreakers get e eaten. They chump something else. They take seven. So I would, I would deal three damage and trade my two spellbreakers for their Llanowar Elf. And deal an extra three. Nah. Nah. Land shall conquer you. Yeah, that it is. It is weird that Domri's ambush isn't an instant. Yeah, you'd think ambushes would be instants. <laughs> Here's my slow sorcery speed ambush. That's not ideal. All right, so they're going to go to one with this block. Okay, they go to two with this block. They go to one with this block. Can we get one point of damage in here? Unclear. Unclear. Hey, what's up, Rage Valley? Our 20th sub of the day. That means we're cracking another pack, hitting another sub goal, going towards the 12 hour streams. Our sub goals are. Um, we add them up. 
And whenever we get 20 total of these sub goals, I do a 12 hour stream. And that is sub goals number seven and eight today. I can update that on the, in the info panel. In the info panel. Ah. What are they, what's, what's their plan for this Phoenix? Hopefully nothing. Maybe they overlooked the Phoenix. All right, update that. So now we got eight out of 20 sub goals. We definitely want the veils. The hydras just get so big. It can certainly be difficult to kill them because they just get so big. What else am I cutting? Yeah, we gotta have all these things in to kill mana creatures, of course. Is it, is it Spellbreakers? Go down to one, one big Chandra. Hmm. Not keeping this. Okay. <laughs> I need the thud. There you go. You need to get some thuds in here. Sometimes you don't choose the thud life. Thud life chooses you.
All right, turn four Chandra. Awaken some Infernos. Do I play around negate and wait a turn and have Vela Summer for a negate? No. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Check out these fireworks. Alright, good. Get get all these mana creatures out of here. Hmm. <laughs> no pressure. I don't have anything going on here. Our opponent's drawing lands. You know, they've drawn land back to back. Wow, I've annoying. drawn land back to back. Those are two very bad outcomes. Okay. Hope it's not too hot for you. What a strange and magnificent world. Rise, my elemental friend. They're just one mana away from Nissa now. I want I do not want them to draw land. Alright, that's probably game. Yeah. Our Chandra's gonna be able to survive another turn. Alright, two and one. <laughs> Chandra can't be countered. I forgot about that again. Good thing I didn't play around a counter spell with my can't my card that can't be countered. <laughs> Everybody saying that in chat. My bad. I prefer this one, Liz. But to be fair, I didn't get I didn't play the last Kaladesh on Cat standard very much. I was playing modern all the time at that point. Yeah, Planeswalker passives are lame. That is that is my my least favorite thing about the standard format are the Planeswalker passives. I don't really care for him too much. Alright, so we just played against... Vampires, then Vampires, then Simic Ramp. So that means this is Simic Ramp. That's how the laws of twos work. Really wish we had another on tap land here. The ambush can kill a mana creature. Ah, not Simic Ramp. The laws of twos, what are you doing? I don't think, maybe that's not a real law. Maybe the laws of twos isn't a real thing. I wouldn't have, I don't, well, maybe I would have kept this on the play too, but, you know, really hoping I, with our, one of our two draw steps, we get to draw something to get this thing in play. Dang. Ranging Raptors is pretty cool. It's an underrated card.
Landorf is pretty busted. <laughs> Turn one Landorf on the play. It's basically you win. Beautiful day for chaos, in it. Hmm. Really want to kill the Hel or kill the Domri here. But then I'm just taking like another turn off. Let's just play this Domri to distract him. Let's just fight. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. No, I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. My... My biggest hope here is that a 5-5 five, five Hellkite lets us stabilize. These Ripjaw Raptors are awesome in this matchup, of course. Like, all my stuff's damage-based. Uh, so not only are they, a, a, you know, a big size, 4-5, but then also with the drawn cards. Savage Stomp's good. All right. I'll just see myself out then. Infinite Ripjaw Raptors over here. Uh, I guess I can't even play the Hellkite. I guess I gotta kill this Marauding Raptor. I'm not going to really have too much time to play that ambush later. And this just makes sure that they don't get to go double Ripjaw Raptor. That really hurt that they drew the land off here to be able to play with Ripjaw Raptor, double spell, get another creature. That forces my blocks to be really bad here. Well, that that hurt <laughs> even more. I'm a crazy beast. Where do you see my mates?
All right. I think I do like some... I think I'll prefer Tyrant over Chandra here in this matchup. Um... Maybe still keep a Chandra. I'll keep one over the Nissa. I don't I don't really know if I really want lava coils too much. Hey, what's up, Rad? Didn't really seem like I wanted lava coils too much. I just want a a faster start, you know, we had all all temples. Or, you know, we had all, all tap lands there, all gates. I guess you'd call them. A very slow hand that we had there. Thanks so much, Rad. I really appreciate that sub. Was it Nissa or Phoenix? Phoenix. Or... Get rid of the Nissa. We need to draw two lands and not have our land war off die for the Nissa. I don't know. Would it have better? Oh, you're welcome. Would it have been better to ambush the land off and get in for three? I don't know. No shock. No shock. Uh, more land worlds. All right, this is what I got. Reggie. Reggie's good. Ah, stomp. That's pretty good. Not quite a, a two-turn clock after this, you know, like, Domri could make it seven power. Reggie's good. Do I want to get rid of GCGs for coils?
we'll try that. We'll we'll play this Daredevil and some coils instead of the GCGs. Hey Matthew. All good, lurking and munching. All good there. Good. No man. No Lanaware Elf. Certainly like seeing that, especially with us having our slower hand of no land off ourself. Ooh. Good. We got some time. Certainly think they have shock. They well, started with mountain instead of rugged highlands. So I'm thinking our Paradise Druid gets shocked here, so let's get this Phoenix in play. Before it does. Because we need like the two red. No coil. Ah, dang. Alright, playing that so I can get the Tyrantosaurus Rex down next turn. Arcbow Ranger with Carnage Tyrant is pretty nice. So we're putting two counters a turn on this thing. That's hexproof. That's a pretty nice combo. Ugh. Speaking of nice combos, we could have dealt 11. Do I want to kill Regisaur Alpha? Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. My, my, how you've grown. I want the Paradise Druid to be able to trade with Marauding Raptor. And even though I could yeah, I could have minus Vivian for removal, but I I want to take up. I don't want I don't want Vivian to die to a shock. I didn't I've seen things hmm. that would break. So That's kind of a problem mind. though. I'm just getting an extra card every turn. Wow. Huh. Hmm. I guess just the, the two counters on Carnage Tyrant every single turn. Huh. Okay, three and one. Let's play one more match here. And then we'll move on over to Grixis. It's already nine o'clock. Maybe I'll wait to, till tomorrow with Grixis then. Usually my stream time's from three to 10. Yeah. 
That Esper, that Esper game did take all day. It's 3 in the morning in France over there. So maybe I'll play just an, instead of just playing 5 Gruel matches, maybe I'll just play like 6 or 7 uh, Gruel matches here. Slow him down. I moved Grixis to tomorrow. Draw red land, play Chandra. Draw red land and play a Chandra. Draw red land. Nope, no red land. Witness the ties that bind us all. Behold nature's true power. Not you, just you. Yeah, the Bant Ramp deck had three of the great ley lines. I think it's a a reasonable number of ley lines to play. Yay. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Behold, nature's true power. Oh, I should have attacked with the land world too. So I wouldn't have had to kill the Chandra. Yeah, I should have just attacked with the land world too. The land shall conquer you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's damage base with with Big Chandra. So you have to yeah, so I had to yeah, I could minus three to kill their I could have minus three to kill their land and then, you know, hit their Nissa again, but I mean I think that's that was a worthwhile trade, like getting rid of our big Chandra. Like they didn't have much going on after that Nissa was gone. I uh, so we know they're scape shifting. We certainly know they're scape shifting. Are they mass manipulating? Is is really the big question. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Not not the minus three to do three damage to every creature, y'all. Talking about like the minus X, I would have dealt, you know, done minus three with the minus X ability. This part. Deals three damage to our creature. I want to do the the other minus three. That that wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. So we still have our triple green in case of Vivian and our land world dying. Does mean I'm going to be paying two life though for the stomping ground. It looks like since I, so I would have been able to just put the stomping ground into play tapped here, but now drawing the spell breaker looks like we're shocking.
I technically should, should be doing this stuff post combat. I'm kind of playing, playing fast here, but I should be attacking first, so then they don't have the information of what my turn's going to look like whenever they're uh, making their block decision. And Cavalier Thorns is busted. Busted. I would really like a Vivian. Use a Vivian. That Arcbow Ranger, I need that card. Make those Phoenix big. I'm not liking where we're at here. I haven't, I haven't updated Bant Arcbow yet with M20, but that's something on the dock. I got a donation to update that deck, so my plan is to be able to, or my plan is to play that deck tomorrow. I'm going to be spending tomorrow morning uh, working on that deck. They are a mass manipulation deck. I don't I don't really see us getting out of this. Honestly. Yeah, I don't... Don't envision us winning this. Oh, right, well, they got manipulation.
All right, Riptar Raptor means Grill Chamber Guardian's not going to be doing anything. Gosh, those five, six. <sighs> that Cavalier is so hard to get through. Five, six reach. Man, that thing's hard to get through. One of these cards is doing something. Thanks, Javarani. Cool. <laughs> All right, we've got lots of mana. Let's draw a Planeswalker. Come on, Planeswalker. Any non domri Planeswalker. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just... <laughs> Chandra. Nissa. Oh, man. Come on, Chandra. Turn three, Chandra. Oh, did they just click through their turn? Oh, we didn't get. We won't answer to other guilds. Our two draw steps being lands, not good. But looks like looks like they might just click through their turn by accident. Oh come on! <laughs> we couldn't get anything to help us out. Our three draws. Oh, well, I mean, I can't I can't complain. We have we're ahead, but. Could have finished this thing out. Maybe they just kept a one-lander. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. I should probably be fighting there, but I don't know, I wanna keep keep my creatures. Oh, I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. They probably don't have a counter spell, but just want to be safe. Can't be countered, Claws. All right. We drew a spell. It's a very good, fast opener. Rank up. All right, let's play, like, two more matches here. We'll play Grixis tomorrow, Tom. Because, you know, I, I don't want to just play, you know, like, two matches at Grixis. <clears throat> I want to have some more time and, you know, play, like, the full five matches and everything. So we'll play that one tomorrow. We can play that right away tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Yeah, the Lanawar Elf beatdown plan. Got some traction there. Alright, looks like we got a feather deck here. Love Honor Guards these days. Very good card.
Maybe this is just a red white mid range deck. Maybe it's an angel deck. Yeah, it's not looking like it's not looking like feather. Definitely glad they didn't have a shock there. Ah. I could play I'll play one match of Grixis after this. I could do that and you know, just not record it for the YouTube channel and still play Grixis tomorrow, but I yeah, if, if y'all really want me to play Grixis, I can play one one match of Grixis tonight. You know, just as like an extra. Hmm. Yeah, I think just the coils. Gonna take out Chandra here. I don't know, maybe I'll take out the Growth Chamber Guardians. They were good there though. Yeah, that that yeah that that uh, Hydra is is definitely a good card for sure. Um, I don't know exactly where I'd kind of fit it in here though in this deck. I think is it Voracious Hydra? I believe that's the name of the new Hydra. I definitely like the card, but I don't I don't know if it fits here. Uh... Yeah, the more ramp you have for the Voracious Hydra, the better for it. Agree there. I uh, really would have liked that land where I'll survive in, of course. That Hydra with New Vivian carried you to Mythic. Yeah, New Vivian, very, very strong also. I mean, I'm not winning this. I'm not beating... None of these things deal with Feather. Especially when they're drawing three cards a turn. Alright, now I'm gonna go, go ahead and play the Growth Chamber Guardians. Get those back in here. Oh, yeah, Green Cavalier is awesome, also. Yeah, like, there's. Green got a lot of good cards here with this set.
Definitely did. Why do you think Cinder Vines is good here? Like the the damage for the spells? I'm worried that by playing Cin you know, having like Cinder Vines in our our deck will get too far behind. One. Two, I'm worried about just drawing Cinder Vines like later. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. We're fit enough to survive. She's all about surviving. Yeah, I don't I don't like playing Cinder Vines in matchups where, like where you're not using the artifact and enchantment thing. Uh they kept a sketcher. This will be Our hand was really good curving into this Vivian like this. And they you know like this is just not really a game too much there. Well, I'm liking this Gruel deck. This Gruel deck feels really strong. I mean, our opponent didn't do anything that game, but still. Yeah, you know, taking it over to ranked, doing really, really well like this. Definitely good showing here. Certainly possible one of the oh, Chandras could be something else. Um, but yeah, I like I like this deck. You know, it's just just kind of no nonsense. Maybe one, yeah, like maybe one of the Chandras should be another Vivian. Honestly, this card's pretty good too. It certainly did some good work for us. This Vivian's really strong. No matches versus Esper, but I, I I think we would do pretty good against Esper. I don't know if I would... I don't think I would sideboard in Gra Silent Gravestone against Esper. I think I want Silent Gravestone more for like the, the Wild Growth Walker uh, Command the Dread Horde decks. Not really against Esper. I think I would just be bringing in the two Carnage Tyrants and cutting a Hell Kite and cutting a Domri Anarcha Bolas. For the two Carnage Tyrants. Oh, and then the two Direfleet Daredevils. We want those also. Probably for the other two Domri and Arcabolises. I think that's how it's sideboard against Esper. Take out Hellkite and the three Domries. Two Daredevil, two Carnage Tyrant. The other card I don't... I mean, I, I don't love eight mana creatures in that matchup. Like, But... No, they're they're good. They're good. You could you could turn Domri's ambushes into Vela Summers also if you want. There. You could also do that. No, I don't think you'd want to play. Well, Tamik is just your opponents, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you you can play Tamika and Nissa together, you're good. It only affects your opponents. It's a it's a one-way card. Yeah, they just can't be targeted by your opponent. So yeah. Uh that that is true that if you make lands into creatures with Nissa and you have Tamik out, they have to use removal on Tamik first before using removal on your lands. So, yeah, that's something that does happen there. So yeah, real good showing here for the Gruel deck. Um, you know, being five and one there. Uh, you know, usually I play the, the five matches whenever we're in ranked, but we were 
uh, didn't really have ran out of time for the Grixis deck making a YouTube video, so we played an extra match. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'm gonna play a Grixis match here uh, off of uh, you know uh, you know not with the YouTube video. So in conclusion here for the video, um, I liked the deck. I I don't I didn't really see anything to change. Uh, I like we're talking about maybe maybe one Chandra Awaken Inferno turn it into another Vivian Arcbow Ranger, maybe there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good, like, no-nonsense beatdown deck. For sure. And yeah, if I was looking to change something, that's what it'd be. Taking out, you know, like, taking out one Chandra, adding in one Vivian. Because, while Chandra's good, I wasn't super impressed with it. And for a six-mana card, maybe get another Vivian in here. But, like, we probably don't want too many Vivians, though. They can be hard to cast at times. So I'm not I'm not sure if that's that's a a good upgrade or not honestly, I'd have to like you know get some more practice in with the deck, to be honest. But that would be a change that I'd think about making. Like if you're playing this deck later and if you don't really like the Chandra as much, you know consider replacing it with another Vivian. I I like Hellkite more than Sarkin. I I'm not a big fan of Sarkin these days. I don't like how it makes a a token that like it's bounce pretty easily like with the teferis running around or like a lot of decks are playing shock that kills the the sarkin or or you know uh teferis to bounce um we do have all the other planeswalkers but like if we're if we're untapping with like our nissas and chandras we're already doing okay but i like like hellkite is like a, a way just to have like that that haste flyer right away but also as a way to use like a lot of extra mana with nissa it also works really well with like vivian um, or the Domri's ambush that puts counters on it, like where you can you can go like haste Hellkite and still put counters on it and still be able to use the ability and, and everything. That's a good blocker, you know, coming down as a five five. I don't know, I like the Hellkite. Yeah, I think yeah, I think Sarkin's better with a lot of cheaper planeswalkers. I think you'd want a lot more like three mana planeswalkers with Sarkin. You know, play more Kioras uh, and stuff like that. So. Okay, that's that's the uh, Gruul mid-range deck. Good show in here. Uh, if you're watching it later on on YouTube, please hit that like and subscribe buttons. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching Gruul mid-range, and I will see you for another video.